It's a Thursday night in Garden Area, a part of Kununurra where the parties often run late into the night. Our house, when there's a party on, we throw a party, just like every other person in Kununurra. Yeah, it doesn't affect else. anybody. While the residents say their children will be safe tonight, even they concede that binge drinking is a problem. It was the biggest mistake for Aboriginal people in reduced to alcohol. As with many northern towns, Kununurra has a well-documented problem with alcohol. Mirawong Gadjurong elder Ted Carlton remembers when it all began for his family. After the 1967 referendum, when Aboriginal families were cleared off the cattle stations. Lots of people got introduced to alcohol and, and the drugs and I think, including myself too as well, and our behaviour changed. After years of addiction, he swore off drink and has been sober for 30 years. But he sees the damage being done to friends and family. Kids on the street and you know, countrymen drunk and people on the street and fighting and all this type of stuff. You know? Data from hospitals and police show harm rates in the East Kimberley are among the highest in Australia. Alcohol is a factor in around 80% of domestic assaults, double the rate seen across WA. And in the four years to 2012, hospitalisations linked to alcohol were four times the statewide average. The frontline staff patching up the wounds and caring for the neglected children describe it as a kind of nightly carnage. I think you know, for such a small population, there's a very high rate of uh, alcohol-related harm. So I think it's a community that really needs something drastically to change. He's one of many in town who believe the government needs to step in to try to stop the self-destruction. Under liquor restrictions already in place in the East Kimberley, people are allowed to buy two cartons of beer or six bottles of wine per day, more than enough to get drunk. But a push is underway to halve that daily quota. It's a proposal already rejected by the town's two alcohol retailers who say it'll put off tourists and fuel the black market. I don't see these restrictions um, in the Perth Central Business District or anything like that. So I, I think it's a bit over the top. But those putting together the application are persevering. But then, you know, someone, someone's got to lose in this, this, uh, this equation. It's either them or the little child in the street in the home that's living in, you know, living in, in fear or being born with FASD. They're the sort of thing that we've got to weigh up. The Woonan Foundation is hoping to have an application in with the WA Director of Liquor Licensing by the end of the year. Erin Park, ABC News, Kununurra.